Hello my Sagittariuses and welcome to full, we full moon weekend, okay? The moon will be full, it will be in Cancer. It's a, if you watch the introduction, you're going to see it's like, a, it's like a full moon sandwich. It's packed between Saturn and Mars or Mars and Saturn with a little Jupiter and Neptune kind of like thrown in there too. So it's going to be an interesting time. Now, Remember, this is a, these are general readings. They may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. I did like the overall reading, though, for in the introduction, because I always love the wish card. Okay, so let's see what we've got going on for my Sagittariuses. Um, I'll tell you that for Leo and, and Aries, the fire sign, and now you are the, the end of the fire signs at this point, that they were rather intense. So let's see if my Sagittariuses are going to be very intense, because moon energy can be extremely intense. It, I mean, you know, it can be a very effective um, way to cleanse, because that's what I'm always telling you to release, relinquish, and request. So let's see for my Sagittariuses. What is this all about for you now? Higher power, what would you like to say to our Sagittariuses? What do they need to know or what would just be good to know? Okay, so we have, like I said, for the fire signs, it does feel like it's going to be pretty intense. Not to say for the other ones it isn't, but there's a lot of um, emotions being brought up. Okay, first card, reverse strong stuff. There is the Ace of Fire. Well, you know what? Just as I say this, for you, my Sages, nothing better, okay? So an Ace, one, new beginning, new start. Fire energy is your energy. It's also, um, blah, blah, blah. It's also Aries and Leo, passionate and burning energy. Remember, Jupiter is in Aries right now, and it's really making, I mean, it's really telling that full moon. The full moon, the moon, and Airy, I mean, and Jupiter, they're really trying to make things happen with this. And this looks like this is going to be one of those weekends for you, my Sagittarius, is where you can make things happen. Something that you feel very passionate about. In fact, maybe that's the thing. It's, it's you know, I'm getting kind of that sense of urgency, that sense of, yeah, let's get this done. I want it. I want it. We want to do this. Let's do this now. Okay? So, new beginning, new passion. Um, it can be anything, remember, like I said, remember, these are general readings, may or may not resonate, resonate, take what you like, leave the rest. But this is something that's really just one, one of those times that you, could, you can make things happen. You can make big energies. You can make big changes in your life. Okay? Now, again, too, I will always tell you this about jobs. Jobs. Easier to get a job when you have a job. So don't go, claim, don't go uh, quitting your job. But... This does talk about opportunities, and this does say an excellent new opportunity, career advancement, change your life now. Whoa, and that one was reversed. So here we go, the next one, the Knight of Bear. Well, this happens quickly then. You're going to hear, maybe it's you're hearing about a job, maybe you're hearing about a relationship, and, you know, personal, could be intimate, and something happens pretty quick. So the knight underlying, you know, court cards have dual energies. Knight's underlying energy is fire. We've talked about that. But the overlying energy is air. That's your thought process, thinking things through. That's your Aquarius and Gemini energy, which is really big with this new this full moon. It's also Libra energy, you know, like I said, making plans. It could be about hearing news. Whatever this is, you know, this air it wants to really light this fire. This, you know, you need, in order to have a fire, if you have a fireplace or you have, you know, you add air to it, it really gets big. It really gets combustible. So one thing about this is it may feel a little bit out of control because the night of air is extremely fast moving. So you may want to take a little step back so that you can control the fire, that you can control you know, it's just like one of those things that's like, wow, I'm at this moment that if I don't step back, I'm going to go into something that I don't know if I want to face myself in the morning about. <laughs> okay, so the night of air has this really quick energy. It's, it's almost like it's really not thinking. The night, you know, this is the one air energy where, there, when, where thought processes aren't really um, in control of the situation. So you, my fire sign, you have to stay in control, okay? 
So Knight of Air is intelligent, decisive, idealistic, and tireless. Events that occur with great speed take time to carefully review your options, uh, creative solutions. Like I said, this is one of those times that you may find yourself, and if you just go, oh, heck with it. No, 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 don't do heck with it, okay? This is the time where you're going to have to make sure you don't let things just move that quick. Anyway, but it's a, it sounds like it's a lot, it feels like it's a lot of fun. It's, I just don't want you to, <laughs> okay, my Santa, you know how much I love you so much. You always crack me up. I just don't want the walk of shame in the morning, okay? I, you, you got me on this one. Here we go. And the last card is the four of air. So take a break, rest, step back a little bit. This is something that's really very positive. This is really something that's really just, oh yeah, let's do this. But just because it's positive, just because it's energetic, just because it's something you want, take a breath. Think things through. You know, like, um, you know, what, like, you know, you, I used to tell my kids, it'll still, you know, the, the, it'll still be there in the morning. So just, just chill a bit, just chill a bit. So four, we have a one, four, four, one, four is um, stability, leadership, organization, air again. We know what air is all about. Time to rest or take a vacation. Allow more time before making a decision. Meditation may provide answers. So even though this, and now I see this, and all of a sudden I'm more grounded. I, 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 I can center myself a little bit more. So just take a break. Just take a little rest. You don't have to just jump into anything. Whenever I'm um, like buying a, a large ticket item, and they're like, this is it. You have to buy this now. Um, you know, I'm like, well, you know what? I, I'm not going to, the answer is no. If you're going to force me into saying yes or no, I'm going to give you a no. I need to think about it. Okay. So the, the pressure may be on. The pressure may be on. Do it, do it, do it, my sages. But like I said, you know, and, and you know, I'm a fire sign. I'm a Leo. So I understand. Ooh, <laughs> bright, shiny. Let's do it. Um, but like I said, it, it's again, take a break, take a step back, allow a little bit more time. Okay, a couple of cards flew out. Always interesting. Let's see what we've got here. Woo! So now we have a one of earth, okay? A one of pentacles. So we have the one, we have the one. This is pentacles energy. This is earth energy. This is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, money, job, career. Taurus and Capricorn are strong energies with this full moon too. So whatever this is, it does look like it probably will be a good decision for you. The only thing is though, you might need to work things out a little bit more. You might need to negotiate a little bit more. It is something that, um, you know, is something that is growing between the two, you know, between you and whoever, whatever. And again, prosperity begins. It is a positive energy. But again, take, take a little break before you make your decision. And your last card is, okay, use wisdom. So we have a five energy, a one, five. Sometimes, it, you know, they can present you the pretty package. They say, oh, this is wonderful. And it might be really good for you. But the wisdom, you know, wisdom, it basically kind of tells you to step back a little bit. And it kind of goes along with, I'm going to just go with what, you know, I have had, I've been a manager, you know, a little bit about my story. And I've had people come and say, oh, this is what they're offering me. And I, I have told them, ask them if, you know, so this is a new job. I'm talking about a job per se. And I say, well, this is what they're offering. I want to take it. And I said, well, have you? No, not yet. I'm, I told them I'm going to think it over. Good. I said, well, tell them you really want the job. You really like the opportunity. You can't wait to start. But you were looking for a little more money. What is this pay scale? What is the scale for this position? And I'll tell you, everyone that's done that has gotten more money than what they were offered. Okay? I'm not saying that it will always happen. I'm not saying, you know, there comes a point where they've gone back and it's like, nope, that is the top. That is what we can do. But it is, you're, you're going to be the one, you're the one that needs to um, advocate for yourself. Okay? So even though it looks really good, everything's great, let's go, if this is a job, um, you know, we're going to use that as our relationship here. You know, you can all be smart about it. 
be smart about it, okay? And wisdom, now this is also the Hierophant energy. This is a five again, change, change, change. I like this one as the Hierophant because this guy is not as threatening to me, but he's still. this is still rules and regulations. There is a part, you know, there is something that this has to work within. There is a framework to whatever this is all about. But, again, if a, if a change is coming and it's really very excited, take a break, take a step back. You know, it, it might be the right thing at the right time. Use a little wisdom. Okay? Does that make sense? <laughs> no walk of shame for you. No walk of shame for my sages. Okay, let's see what we've got going here. And let's see, what crystal or energy do we have? Now? And again, I'm like I said, I'm always like, oh, I really want this. This is, you know, yes. Yeah, so, uh, so essentially you're accepting the job, but you're just negotiating the salary or negotiating the benefits. So let's see what we've got going on. And if they say something, you just, you know, like, oh, wow, I didn't think you'd say that. You look at them and say, well, you wouldn't want someone who didn't do this, would you? Okay, so let's see. Never threatening. Never threaten. Okay, let's see what we've got. Crystal or energy for my Sagittariuses. Here we go. Moldavite. Moldavite came up on somebody, too. I can't remember, though. Healing, protection, telepathy, connection. Maldivite's an expensive little stone, but it's a very high vibrational stone. So I have a little piece of it in my wallet. It hasn't vibrated it too much. <laughs> anyway, my Sagittarius says, please take a moment to do the like, share, subscribe, clicking on the bell for notifications. As always, though, my Sagittarius, and you know this, but always, this is the important part. Know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.